Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with Jenkins and Docker. Our viewer is building a Docker image for a Node.js application, but they're running into an issue with an NPM token for a private registry. Specifically, the token is coming through as null during the build process. Let's dive into the details and see how we can resolve this. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To use an environment variable in the agent section of a Jenkins declarative pipeline, we need to ensure that the variable is properly defined and accessible. Let's start by defining our environment variable. Next, we will configure the agent section to use this environment variable. In our case, we want to pass the NPM token as a build argument to the Docker image. Now, let's look at the complete pipeline structure. This includes the environment variable definition, the agent configuration, and the stages where we can run our commands. Finally, ensure that the credentials are correctly set up in Jenkins. This will allow the NPM token to be retrieved and used during the Docker build process. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To use an environment variable in the agent section of a Jenkins declarative pipeline, first add your NPM token using the Credentials Manager. Then you can set it in your Docker agent configuration. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this solution, the user presents a workaround for using environment variables in a Jenkins declarative pipeline. They specifically focus on downloading private GitHub repositories using pip. The user warns that the secret may appear in build logs and Docker image history, so caution is advised for sensitive code bases. The provided code snippet demonstrates how to retrieve a GitHub access token and use it in the Docker build arguments within the pipeline. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.